Julie, what advice would you give parents on the most common mistakes we make that could, with some slight changes, actually be beneficial and show us immense reward? I would say one of, one of the things actually has to do with our addiction to technology. Technology has just pervaded our lives and more and more parents will either say there's no connecting time with their kids and they'll say if their kids are old enough to have devices, the kids are on the devices or kids will complain about the parents. So I don't think it's all or nothing. I think the goal is to synchronize screen time in your household. So instead of everybody just getting on devices, adults and kids, if they're old enough, um, whenever they feel like, create a docking station at the front entrance of your house. In the same way in the, the Japanese tradition, people take off their shoes at the entry and it becomes a sacred space. Do the same thing with technology and have a docking station. And then it's sort of like our focus is to be with the people who are geographically close to us, like in the same room, by separating ourselves from our devices for key points in the day, maybe over dinner, or maybe you know from the time you get home until the kids go to sleep, and synchronize that um, that screen time so that you're not ready to connect, but your wife is on her device and she's not ready to connect, but you're on your device. And that, that sort of cascading effect makes it where no one's ever available at the same time. So nobody spends any connecting time.